Next, we have a pro MMA bout. Again, three five-minute rounds. We have Zolti Bala in the red corner fighting at 93 kilograms with a record of 3-1-0. Fighting out of Ministry of Mixed Martial Arts and Golden Glory, home country of Romania. His opponent tonight in the blue will be Linton Vassal with a weight of 93 kilograms and a record of seven wins, three losses, no draws. Fighting out of Immortal MMA in Milton Keynes. Gentlemen, our next bout is a professional mixed martial arts bout. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your first fighter to the ring. He weighed in at 93.4 kilograms. He has a professional record of three wins and one loss. Representing Ministry of Martial Arts from Rayleigh, Zolti Bala! record of seven wins and three losses. Representing Immortal MMA from Milton Keynes, Linton, the Swarm Hassel. Josh, this is a fight that both of us has been licking our chops over. We've got Zolti Bala, the expert judoka, uh, with a granite chin, fighting tonight. Linton Vassal, the swarm. Yep, yeah, both guys we've seen a couple of times here at UWC. Zolti Bala, his third appearance here. He's had two good wins so far. Tough competition tonight in uh, light heavyweight Linton Vassal, though. But you know what? The word that really stands out when I talk about Zolti Bala, durable. He can take a lot of punishment. And when I talked to Linton Vassal, he said, you know what, that's great because I love to give a lot of punishment. <laughs> yeah, Linton has been looking uh, very impressive of late. I was lucky enough to call his last fight in April at Cage Warriors 41 where he grabbed the decision win over Simon Carlson. Utilizing that double jab very good. Oh, look at that, he switched up. Went to the head, then to the body. Now, I think the thing that stands out in my mind is Linton, Linton Vassal is able to vary his speed. He could go at a moderate pace or he could really swarm, as in his nickname. However, Zolti Bala has a plodding pace. I've never really seen him explode, if you know what I mean. And I think that this is something that Linton is definitely going to have to take advantage of here. Yeah, I think it's a very good point, Pierre, that the tempo change uh, is definitely, if one is going to come, it's going to come from Linton Vassal. Uh, he's going to look to explode with power, uh, and land some strikes or land a takedown. What we've seen from Zolti Bala before, though, however, as you said, is when he gets hurt, he can scramble like mad. And if he gets your hands on him, I mean, excuse me, if he gets your hands on him, I said it twice, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But you're going to go, you're going to collect air miles because he's very good at those judo-based throws. Oh, yeah, we saw him toss Darren Towler fantastically back at... Uh, UWC 15 in April. Big shot, now look at this here. Body shot to the head shot. Linton Vassal punishing him, and the towel comes in. 
Wow, fantastic combination from the Swarm, Linton Vassell. Now, I don't know if that was the body shot or the hook over the top that set the man down, but I tell you what, this is the first time ever that I've seen Zolti Bala go down to any type of stand-up. Linton is rightly happy with his performance, Pierre. I think he said he's brought about 80 people over from Milton Keynes with him. And uh, a short night, but a good night for Linton Vassell. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 46 seconds of the first round, we have a winner due to technical knockout, Linton the Swarm Vassell. And ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause to your runner up, Zolti Hala. So when you see me, you see me, you see me.